not just a big vehicle. It was another heart operation. The only time that I realized that I was doing something different, and this was really the moment of truth, is when I looked down into the chest of that patient and there was no heart. I've seen many open chests, but I've always seen a heart there. And this is the first time that I saw a living human being without a heart. And you cannot imagine the moment how lonely I was at that moment. Because there was nobody I could turn to and say, listen, am I doing the right thing? What must I do next? The next point was where I was worried. Would the heart start beating again once I supply it now with warm blood from the heart machine? There was absolute silence and uh, nervousness, I think, that was almost tangible at that moment. Uh, although they had the utmost confidence in Professor Barnard, because it had never been done before in a human being, we were all worried, was that heart going to start beating? And when the blood came back into that transplant heart, immediately it showed life. And eventually when I shocked it, it started beating. And, and it was like, it, as if there was a darkness in that operating room. And when the heart started beating, light came on again. And everybody started talking and everybody was out. Was when we were finished, I said to Marius, Marius, we better tell somebody that you've done this operation. And uh, when I left that hospital that morning, You'll be surprised to know there was not one photographer, not one uh, television camera, not one newspaper reporter outside the hospital to interview me about the operation. But uh, as history showed, things changed very rapidly after that. Newspapers everywhere carry banner headlines, and from medical men as far away as the Soviet Union, there is a claim for the dramatic breakthrough. I had phone calls from all over the world, and that evening there was a television crew here uh, to 